Whether it has touched you personally or the life of someone you know and love, cancer has impacted us all. Could a small local company very quietly really be on the verge of finding a cure mm. and giving hope to millions? Nine News anchor Lance Berry is here now with his exclusive story about a drug that many in the medical field say has had perfect, rapid success against many forms of cancer and with no side effects. Lance? Bexy and Pharmaceuticals would be the first to tell you that the research is far too preliminary at this point to be able to promise a cancer cure. They still could be several years and millions of dollars away from being able to do that. But one thing they can promise at this point is hope. Hope for those who are desperate for it. Inside Bexy and Pharmaceuticals' unassuming Covington office, among the test tubes, chemicals, and vials, stands something far more important. It's called the Wall of Inspiration, featuring the faces of those hoping that the research that takes place here brings about a cancer cure. This certainly puts a face you know, with a name, with uh, a diagnosis. Uh, unfortunately, we've, uh, two of the individuals on the wall have uh, since passed away, but they continue to be uh, part of our inspiration. Chuck Shepper is Bexian's chairman of the board. His fight against cancer goes far beyond his financial interests in this biotech company. His battle is personal, too. I feel like um, all of my experiences in my entire life, have, including my own cancer journey, has led me to this point in time. It was 1992 that he was diagnosed with stage 4 non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. A bone marrow transplant saved his life, but at the time, that procedure was still experimental, not unlike the nature of what Bexian is now developing that is the talk of the medical field. For the last two years, I've been telling myself, you know, this is just too good to be true. I mean, how could this be? Is there something to be said about having a, a very small group of people working on this? I think we're the right size for where we are right now. Uh, we certainly intend to grow. That and grow Bexian will if the research here continues on the path that it's on. This is the culmination of a lot of brain power and a lot of dollars of activity. But after countless dollars and hours are spent in a laboratory setting like this, this is what it comes down to. It's called BXQ350. And after some very preliminary research, it is already showing that it may be the perfect cure for cancer. Perfect in lab mice in eight different forms of cancers. By day 13, the two mice that we had tested were showing no signs of the, um, of the cancers. Two weeks. After two weeks. The promise it could hold gets even better. BXQ350 also proven to be perfect in a petri dish with 50 other cancer forms, ranging from lung and breast cancers to brain tumors. We've yet to test it against a cancer that it hasn't proved to be effective. It's not easy to do this. So how does BXQ350 work? By turning the cancer against itself. Every cell in our body is programmed to, to uh, commit suicide and our drug triggers that process so it's not toxic it's not doesn't have a lot of the same side effects BXQ 350 was discovered in 2002 by Dr. Sho Young Chi who at the time was a genetics researcher working for Cincinnati Children's Hospital he recalls that day in a lab where he made a discovery that could change the face of medicine but it wasn't on purpose it actually happened by accident. My heart was jumping up and down very quickly. I jumped up or whatever, do a lot of things, very happy, but nobody knows I'm alone. So you, you were all by yourself? <laughs> I'm by myself. Many great discoveries happened by accident. This is uh, always a try and error on the experiment. Chi has several family members of his own with cancer in his native China. He has now left genetics and is a full-time cancer researcher for UC. He remains quite humble about his discovery that if it pans out, could earn him worldwide acclaim. All the matter to me now, uh, I have faith on this technology. I think this could work. The promise of the drug goes far beyond Bexian. Dr. Olivier Ricks is an oncologist at University Hospital. Completely independent from the company or their future financial successes or failures. He also says after his exhaustive reviews, the promise of the drug is for real. It's very promising. I developed uh, screen compounds now over 15 years. This is one of the most important strategy I saw again in the lab. We're not done till we're done, uh, but um, you know, 
it does feel good. I mean, we're at a place right now where um, we can see the horizon. The next step will be to get approval by the FDA to move their research to human trials as early as next spring, perhaps even being held locally at University Hospital. It'll be a crucial step, a big jump where many other companies once promising drugs like a BXQ350 have failed in the past. For more on this story, you can go to our website at WCPO.com.